Hi everyone, welcome to Align Cloud 9. I'm Jacqueline Rose, and today we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, this is a new series I'm going to call Our Homestead. So welcome to Our Homestead. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about my plants. So, so far, I have started some seed starts on March 30th. Um, so today marks one week and two days, and we're gonna go ahead and see what's growing in my garden. So let's take a look. All right, I'll talk about what I planted and what I'm going to plant, and I'll just talk about uh, what's growing here. So if some of you are familiar with plants, you might already notice that these are tomatoes. So I have some tomatoes that I grew from my tomato plants last year here, this row here and then the center row here is my uh, cherry tomatoes and these are my roma tomatoes uh, so these are new uh, seeds that i bought that i am planting um, and i'm going i went ahead and turned this because you can see these plants are all facing this direction <laughs> See them all coming this way. Uh, and that's because they were reaching for the sun over here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn them so that they reach that way next. So they aren't just totally leaned over. Uh, that's good to do when you start your plants inside. Now these are two weeks and two days started. Um, I'm starting a little late on planting, but uh, for some of these, but that's okay. Um, good, so next we have cabbage. Uh, so these uh, I wasn't as satisfied with, um, but these are the Baker Creek. Uh, I'm by no means sponsored by any company, so these Baker Creek are amazing, and I'm just saying that out of the pureness of, look how amazing they are. Uh, they come out, almost every single seed came up, I think maybe one didn't. I was actually surprised that the one didn't because they're just so hardy. Um, where these, there was a few, and then this one kind of stunted that I wasn't as satisfied with. But I have green cabbage, red cabbage you can kind of tell the difference because of the stems and they're a little purplish in color and then these are more green cabbage so i'm going to go ahead and turn these guys as well look how cute they are like little clovers <laughs> that'll give them the opportunity to reach for the sun back that way good and i all i did was save plastic containers that's that's what i'm doing uh that i had you know uh green veggies in here like um uh spinach or or leaf leafy vegetables in in uh, at the store and i just put some soil in here and now for my soil what i did was i took uh garden soil so like a good bag of garden soil and i mixed it with peat moss about 50 50 a little bit more garden soil than peat moss and they they came up just fine and i find that to be a cheaper cheaper alternative than seed start mix um, but do whatever you think um, these are just the things i did uh, then i also started some apple seeds now i found out recently that apple seeds are going to be different plants because they're cross-pollinated because the blossom was pollinated by a different blossom and so there this likely is not a honey crisp but it is probably a mix between a honey crisp and some other tree so um we're not really sure what kind of apples we're gonna get but i figured they're edible we'll see what happens i thought it'd be fun to start them from seed uh because it was free all right next i have broccoli cauliflower and brussels sprouts <laughs> So these are my broccoli, uh, I believe, right, yeah, right here is my broccoli. These, this section right here to here, that's broccoli. This is also broccoli right here, this section, or this, this section right here. Um, but these ones are, they didn't come up quite as well and um you know like there's still one fighting there to come up um but i have to say these baker creek ones they came right up all every seed and then cauliflower cauliflower 
uh, and these were into the Baker Creek, so they're a little stunted, but they came up, um, and the Brussels sprouts are Baker Creek. Look at them. Every seed came up. Uh, so those are doing pretty good. Um, these broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, those are all very similar kind of plants. And the cabbage as well, uh, they're like, they like the cold, so they're very similar in that sense. So they came up pretty quick, uh, because it's a little chilly in the house compared to maybe what they like. Good. Uh, so next we have these cool little vines. I bet most people probably don't know what these are. So even if you're a plant person, you probably don't know what they are. Honestly, I don't know what they are, <laughs> but I can tell you what happens when they grow. <laughs> um, so they, they're these cute little butterfly looking leaves. When they come up, uh, you can see they kind of look like two little butterfly little leaves. Uh, and they're actually a flower, um, but they're a vining flower. I'm so excited about these. They vine up and they get really bushy each plant. I have 13 here because I love them so much. I have a couple more in here that I planted recently that I hope come up um, in hopes that uh, I can give them to a friend. Uh, and so um, I'm gonna have quite a few. Uh, they get pretty pretty good, pretty big. They, uh, they vine up something and take over pretty well. And they have these amazing bright red I mean like stop sign red flowers on them and I love them so much and they, they flower all over so it's not just like one place uh, it's the whole vine and it's really beautiful so I just planted those to add some color to my garden um, next I have um that's the vining red flower okay yeah this is basil. So I planted basil here in this row. Um, obviously nothing's happening yet. Um, something's happening here. These are my okra. So we'll see how okra goes. I'm not sure. Uh, it was just sent in the thing. I wasn't really planning on growing it, but I thought since I have it, I do like okra and I think it will be a fun addition to our garden. Uh, next is watermelon. So that's what's growing right here. There's a couple popping up. Uh, so the watermelon is coming through. That's good. I'm not, I think that was Baker Creek. I'm not sure on that. I can check when we go down and look at the seeds. Uh, next we have more watermelon here. Um, I believe, um, watermelon homegrown. Yeah, so this is the homegrown. Um, seeds, so it looks like one's coming up, a little one there. Um, so the homegrown watermelon that I grew last year is coming back up, so that's very good. Uh, cayenne peppers are here. I had forgotten to plant them, so now they're in with the watermelon. <laughs> Hopefully they'll make them sweet. <laughs> so nothing coming up yet. Peppers take a long time to come up, guys. It takes a little while to germinate. It helps if you have like a sunny... Uh, or like a plant light um, or like a greenhouse or something a little warmer uh, with more sun to get them to come up sooner because then they, um, they they love that. They're just a bit happier. So it's a little chilly in here, you know, and for, for these plants, they probably rather it was a little warmer to come up. Um, so then I have more, oh no, these are peaches, peach trees. So I planted about five in each of these um, to get some peach trees, hopefully. Now I had gotten these peach peaches from the neighbor and I decided to save the seeds and see what I could do with them and so I saved the seeds and I let them dry out and then I went to plant them this year and to, to plant them so they come in a little sh seed shell hard shell shaped something like that and I trimmed like the corner of it like where my fingers are meeting right here at the beak like the tip of it off so I trimmed that part off and then I broke open the seed carefully using a knife and then I took the because that's just the shell right I took the actual seed out from underneath the shell and I planted that directly in this um, the dirt that will it help accelerate the process of them sprouting oh is that oh so that's one of the seeds but it's not sprouting yet so we'll cover it back up <laughs> um, Good, so hopefully those come through. I'd love to have some peach trees. I'm not sure if they can cross-pollinate or something, but I guess we'll find out. 
<sighs> Next we have jalapenos. Uh, nothing's going on in here yet. Um, just kind of hanging out. Um, but again, like I said, peppers take a little while um, to come up. So, um, and also I just saved these are like orange juice containers. I just cut them off and then, oh, and I didn't put any, any holes inside of these like plastic containers on the bottom. So what I do is I look at the bottom of them to see if they're saturated and make sure there's not water sitting at the bottom. Um, but then I water them a little bit every day, uh, when they're first coming up. Uh, and then once the soil gets a little bit dry on top, once they've come up, then I'll water them, um, after they've all come up. Uh, so that they don't get too wet, uh, but you kind of let the surface dry out a little bit, not very much, and then go ahead and water. Otherwise, what I would do is keep it really wet while the seeds are starting to sprout, um, so at first. So uh, these I have Sweet Tango and Honey Crisp um, apple trees that I planted, that I plan to grow as well, and like I said, I didn't know, so they're cross, probably cross-pollinated, but... Then I have peppers in here. There's some sweet peppers and there's some green peppers, bell peppers. Uh, nothing yet. Like I said, peppers take a while to germinate. I should have started them sooner. <laughs> Bunching onions over there. Oh, it looks like there's one. Yeah, there's one. A little curly green piece right, right there. <laughs> so one of the onions are coming up. That's great. Uh, nothing for celery yet. It doesn't look like. Oh, maybe that perhaps that the little white thing could be celery, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I think it might be, um, but I've never grown this celery before, so we'll see what happens. So that's just what I started so far, guys. Now, I, I'm hoping I can grow enough food for the year next year. That's kind of my goal. I'm just going to see if I can do it. Obviously, you know, this is a uh, hard feat, but <laughs> especially for just kind of an amateur gardener. So uh, don't take anything I say seriously. Uh, um, check it and research it more. I always tell you to do more research. So just go ahead and do more research. Uh, my mom is binding red flowers, so those are what I planted. Um, and I just saved the seeds, so uh, I'm going to do seed saves. That's why I have heirloom seeds for all of my, my plants. Uh, so these are like the where the flowers were. You can see, let's see if I can just get one. There we go. So you can kind of see how there was a flower on there. And that's now the capsule for the seed. So if I break that open, we should have a seed fall out. Let's see what happens. There it is. It's that black, th that big black thing right there. That is the seed for the vining flower. So it's like a big black round seed. So I just planted those into the garden. And uh, that's what grew. So hopefully we grow some more. Okay, so then let's see. I put what I already planted inside here. So we'll go over what each of these things were. So in there I had some sweet peppers and bell peppers. And these were the sweet peppers. I think they're sweet. Um, so I got them from Baker Creek, Baker Creek heirloom seeds. So this is the place that I recommend because uh, they just gave this to me for free because once you order a bunch of seeds, they'll give you like a little free packet. So I uh, went ahead and I um, planted them. I thought, oh, this will be tasty. I think that they're sweet. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I could do, just Google the name, but um, we'll see what happens. I was kind of just going with the flow. Uh, but the cool thing is that basically on the back of all the packages of seeds, like even not just Baker Creek, but most seed plants, uh, seed packages, it tells you instructions on how to grow them. So planting instructions. It tells you about it. Oh, look, 
blazing hot. Oh no. <laughs> All right, they're gonna be very hot. So we'll see what happens. They might make my peppers hot, that's okay. Cool, whoa, vicious heat. <laughs> All right, well, they're not gonna be sweet. They're gonna be really hot. Um, I like hot things, but we'll see. Uh, planting instructions. See, start indoors in bright light eight to 12 weeks before last frost date. So I only planted them six weeks, so before our last frost date here in Wisconsin. So they're probably gonna be kind of later, like to bloom and, and blossom and fruit, but that's okay. I, like I said, I'm not, <laughs> I started late. So um, if I'm really trying to be serious about this, which I, I am, but I, I've been so busy, then I would have planted them sooner. But uh, next year I definitely will. Oh, and the reason I get heirloom seeds is because you can save the seeds every year after this plant flowers and, and fruits, I can save the seeds and I can use them again uh, over and over again from seed and I'll never have to buy seeds again as long as I get that. So uh, peppers, um, let's see, heat mat helps warm the soil, seed germination. Like I said, peppers really like that. A bit of afternoon shade during the hottest summer weather. So it tells you right on there how to do it. So these are some of the peppers that I planted. Those are hot, so I, I didn't even read the package. Um, watermelon, sugar babies. So these are the ones that are growing uh, right here. So these are the ones that came up. Um, and then uh, they, those aren't Baker Creek, those are some other brand, uh, but they, those are the other brand that I've planted, the other plants, basically. So um, I'm, I'm going to plant some of these in the spring. So it says, so in average soil, so you, so, so in average soil with full sun, spring after danger of frost. So this tells you to sow it right into the soil and not start beforehand. Sometimes I will start my pumpkins beforehand still, but um, they tend to get a lot more fruit that way. But uh, not always, but I, I might start these in two weeks anyways, or two weeks before the end of frost. I might, I might do it. Um, so that's why they're in there. This was my red cabbage from Baker Creek. It's called that Tate Nor, Tate, Tete, Tete Nor, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a reader, guys. Um, this one says to sow, sow seeds and, okay, so I think this one says like, it doesn't tell you when, which is weird, but spring or fall harvest. So you can, you can plant these cooler crops in the spring and in the fall. So cabbage, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, all can, you know, um, even any vegetation is the same way, like, or most vegetation, I should say, uh, like spinach and, and, and all of that. Uh, so this is the cabbage that didn't do as good as the Baker Creek. And then there's the Baker Creek cabbage that Brunswick uh, that did come up to. Uh, and then our cauliflower was this brand. And then um, our broccoli, one of those. And then the, uh, the other one is the Baker Creek. The ones that all came up are the Baker Creek. Um, Brussels sprouts, so the Brussels sprouts did good. Oh, you know what? The Brussels sprouts aren't Baker Creek and they all came up. So this brand, that those did work. That's great. Okra, okra is not Baker Creek. Uh, and then I had the uh, large cherry tomatoes. So uh, the cherry tomatoes, I really love cherry tomatoes because they're easy, quick, and you can, you don't have to cut them up really, you know. Uh, and you put them on salads or anything, right in food. Non-GMO heirloom seeds, uh, so this brand uh, is the Roma. And then, like I said, the other ones were ones that I had from last year. I don't know really what they were. This is the celery. A lot of these seeds just came with, so I decided to plant them. And then these are the onions, the bunching onions that I am using. So, we'll see how all those come up. And that is what I've planted thus far. Now, what I plan to plant is pumpkins, obviously. <sighs> Spaghetti squash. 
Those are saved from last year. Those are tomatoes I saved from last year. Um, this is basil. I just didn't. Cayenne peppers I didn't. Uh, watermelon in the yard I didn't. Jalapenos. Oh yeah, the jalapenos are from last year too. I saved my seeds. Carrots. I want to plant some carrots. You have to direct sow carrots because they're a root plant and they get all kinked and weird. I've tried it. <laughs> Don't do it. Cilantro. I'm going to save the seeds from my garden from last year. Oh, and these are some flowers I just really liked, so I'm going to plant those because um, I saved the seeds. So these are really cool long yard uh, asparagus beans, and I'm going to plant those really long beans um, in the garden. Uh, and then garden beans. I'm going to start these guys two weeks before too, just to get them going. Um, or m maybe I won't. We'll see. I might. Um, but you don't have to. You can direct sow these. So these are just garden beans from last year. Um, I'm just going to use up the seeds because you can't have too much of that. Um, and then my apple seeds that I planted. My peach seeds. <laughs> Look how many I have. Um, so then I have my kit here and these are the things that I just got all together so um we're gonna see what happens uh winter squash so this, this looks like some butternut squash I'm gonna plant those eggplant see if we can get that to grow turnips because I got the seeds for them parsnip because I have the seeds for them so I'm going to try to direct sow those, and then spinach, and peas, snap peas are great. Uh, romaine, we'll grow some lettuce, that'll be good. Uh, kohlrabi, oh those are purple, I like those. Some kohlrabi, some lettuce, black seed simpsons. Butter crunch lettuce. It's got a lot of less lettuce. Basil. I already planted some of that. And cucumbers. Um, some corn. We'll see how that goes. I've never grown corn before. Zucchini. So easy to grow, guys. Zucchini is like a good plant to start if you're first starting gardening. You want to see what to do. I mean, you'll you only need like one or two plants for one person because it's crazy. Kale. Oh, I should start the kale now for sure. I should actually be starting all of my veggies, all of my um, lettuces and vegetation like that. I should be starting those now. Um, so I'm going to set those to the side. Uh, beans. Beans. Lima beans. Uh, uh, sure, why not? Give it a shot. Some beets. Pumpkin. More pumpkin. Uh, cantaloupe. I should probably start some cantaloupe soon. Uh, carrots, obviously, you have to direct to sow. Some radishes, we'll see how that goes. Some more radish. Why not? Okay, and then I have these cool dragon tongue beans. I thought they were beautiful, and we love beans. Can't really get enough beans. I figure that'll fill the, the fridge and the, and the freezer and such. Um, so I got some of those, which I'm going to put aside so we can grow soon. Swiss chard. Arugula. I love arugula, guys. It's so tasty. It's another vegetation, or whatever you want to call it, leafy plant. <laughs> More spinach. So I'm going to start those guys, too, soon. Some pretty, pretty corn. I thought that uh, maybe I can do something with that, maybe make some corn tortillas or something, I don't know. Some more um, green, or um, cucumbers, because those are great. Some more corn, sweet corn. See if we can grow some tasty sweet corn. Swiss char, more veggies. More cucumbers. Uh, this was a free sea bag um, that they gave me. Lettuce, I'm gonna grow some of that. Some interesting lemon cucumbers. <laughs> uh, sorghum. Sorghum is really good grain, guys. I'm going to see if I can grow a lot of it. 
I think I got a couple sorghum in here. Um, there's some more Swiss char, some pretty Swiss char. Um, so sorghum is going to direct, so and I'm going to see if I can't get a bunch going uh, and really make something of that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then, yeah, I got some of this uh, because I'm trying to make grains, too, so that we can maybe live off the food that we grow, you know? So I got a bunch, I think four here, of red garnet aramoth, aramoth, uh, ar ar aranith, whatever that is. <laughs> um, I heard some good stuff about it. I've never grown grains before, so this will be my first year doing that. There's some more spinach, some more long beans, because like I said, guys, I love the beans. And I know this is a lot of food, but like I said, I, I want to grow enough for all year. And if I have extra food, I'll just sell it on the side of the road or um, give it to family mostly. I'll probably just give it to family and friends. Some spinach that I thought was just beautiful. Um, oh, some more free lettuce. <laughs> and then some more long beans because I just love those long beans, guys. And they're so tasty, too. They're really good. Uh, black Black beans, black turtle beans, because... I figured we like want grains so we could dry them out and we can use them that way. Chinese red noodle beans, so they're the long ones too, but they're red because I'd add some beauty to the garden, I think. So barley, we're trying to get some barley going too, like I said, trying to get those grains. Uh, garbanzo beans, these were the only kind of garbanzo beans that the Baker Creek had at the time. So I just went with them and they're black and that's okay. I love garbanzo beans. They're really good. So I thought I'd see if I can get them to grow in our area. Um, yeah, we'll see. This is spinach, strawberry spinach. I don't know. It looked good. <laughs> I'm going to see what happens. And you can't have too much greens, guys. Um, quinoa. We're going to see if I can grow some quinoa. And I got two of those because two, well, different kinds. These are the two kinds that I got. Bright, brightest, brilliant, and cherry, you know, whatever. We'll see what happens. Um, and yeah. So that, and then I'm also going to, I got a ton of this. Like I said, I'm gonna try to grow green. So we're gonna see if we can grow, I think these are rolled oats, if I'm not mistaken. Thunder acres, so what's this? Sorghum, so I got more sorghum. Because, uh, like I said, I heard good things about these grains, and I just wanted to grow as much as I could. Yep, these are oats. So, oats, so you get oats, like, I also want to try to grow a uh, seed for my dogs and chickens, because we, I'm going to see if we can do that, like, if I'd be able to sustain it. So that's why I'm getting all this green. Now, um... Currently, we don't have chickens, uh, but I want to see what I can do. And then, uh, usually you see, like, rolled oats, uh, like, at the grocery store, like, when you eat them. And so that's when they actually roll them and they're squished. But this is before they're squished. So that's a pretty interesting fact, I guess. And there we go. So that is everything I plan to grow. Um, I'll put this all away in a little bit. Uh... I hope that you've enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about growing or starting growing. I hope this inspires somebody to do, to try to do the same. Um, we'll let you know on our journey how things go, right Kai? We'll see if we can do some special stuff and <laughs> you're the cutest. And uh, grow our own food, guys, uh, and beautiful little red vining flowers. <laughs> So hopefully, wish us luck. Hopefully this garden goes really well and we get to self-sustain for a year at least. And um, maybe if it goes well and we will be able to start self-sustaining as much as we can for the upcoming years. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I hope your day is as beautiful as you are and we'll see you next time. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe so that I know you liked this series. Um, and. Uh, maybe that I helped you share if you think someone else will enjoy it or, or benefit from it. Um, it really helps out this channel if you subscribe too so that I know you are enjoying things and 
I really appreciate you. Uh, I hope, like I said, I hope your day is as beautiful as you are. I love you guys. And thank you for joining me on this personal journey I am taking uh, to growing my own food. Bye.